This is the fraction review. This is part four. Now what we want to do is we are given some improper fractions and they want us to write them as a mixed number. Now a mixed number would be something like three and one fourth. Okay. Remember that divisions and fractions are the same thing. And fra what we call fractions are usually just divisions that didn't work out nicely. This is 71 divided by 11. To convert it to a mixed number, I'm going to do this division and I'm going to do it by hand so you can see a little bit better maybe what's going on. So 11 divided into 71. How many times does 11 go into 71? Well, it doesn't go seven times because that would be 77. So I'm going to say it goes in six times. Six times 11 would be 66. You do the subtraction and 11 minus six would be a five. So one way of talking about this was how, how seven, 71 divided by 11 is six remainder five. That's the first way we learned to say it. The other way, when we go to a mixed number, you take this, this is the whole number part, six. You take your remainder, which is five. And then what you're dividing by goes in the bottom. This de denominator is this denominator. Now this should be in lowest terms after you've gotten this done, but this is your answer. This is the same thing as six and five elevenths. Let's do the same thing here, 57 elevenths. What is this? Well, this is 11 divided into 57. Okay, so how many times does 11 go into 57? Well, 11 times 5 is 55, so it will go in 5 times because that's smaller. 5 times 11 is 55. Subtract away, you get a 2. So this is the same thing as 5 and 2 elevenths. 5 with 2 left over. 22 ninths. 9 divided into 22. 9 times 3 is 27, so that's too big. 9 times 2 is 18. So subtract away here, and you get a 4. So this is 2. It goes in 2 times completely with 4 left over. So it's 2 times 4 ninths. Oh, not 2 times 4 ninths. 2 and 4 ninths. Sorry, misspoke. Okay, so let's reverse this. We want to write these as improper fractions. So we have a mixed number now, and we want to go back to an improper fraction. Now, a lot of people call this around the world. What you're going to do is it kind of makes a circle. You're going to do 3 times 3, and we use a dot now for multiplication, not an x, because an x in algebra causes big problems. So 3 times 3 plus 2. So I'm coming over here to scratch paper. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. So this is, we take this value, 11, over whatever this is, thirds. So this is 11 thirds. Look right here if we did this. 2 times 9, uh, 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22 ninths. If we divide here, 3 divides into 11 three times with 2 left over. We're just reversing the process. Okay, let's do this again around the world. 9 times 10 plus 1. 9 times 10 plus 1. Okay, so I have to do this part first. That's 90 plus 1, 91. So this would be the same thing as 91, and you keep that denominator, ninths. Okay. Let's do one more. I want to convert 10 and 1 half to an improper fraction, sliding another piece of paper here so it doesn't bleed through. Let's do 2 times 10 plus 1. Two, 2 times 10 would be 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. 
So this is the same thing as 21 halves. Okay, in the next part, we will start multiplying fractions.